Hi everyone, um, I haven't been here recently so apologies for that, um, hope you're all doing well. Um, I just thought I'd come on and jump on um, to talk about a subject that um, seems to be coming up quite a lot in a lot of my conversations, both at work um, and those that I work with outside of work and even in my personal life as well and it's the subject of loneliness. Um, it's that subject that um, I think many people assume um, they're the only ones that struggle with, as with quite a lot of, um, you know, well-being topics, especially mental health topics. Um, so I think, yeah, a lot of us kind of assume that, you know, perhaps we're the only ones that struggle with it. Um, but actually, it's a lot more common. As I said, I, I seem to be having a lot, many, many conversations with lots of different types of people about this subject at the moment um, and obviously like um, you know as with all things um, you know it can be quite a temporary situation um, but I think it's obviously when it lasts a long time that that feeling of loneliness that it can be a problem um, and it can cause um, this kind of um, you know unseen um, but yet distressing um, kind of experience of people. So obviously um, it can cause anxiety and it can cause us to feel alone. Um, and just that feeling of just not belonging, which is not a very nice feeling. Um, and we can kind of hop up, like hold on to quite a lot of pain that we don't feel able to share with others. So it's, it's not a very nice um, space to be. Um, and, um, and, and so many people kind of hold on to it and don't feel like they can talk about it and, and share it. Um, and obviously, you know, many of you know that I'm really passionate about gut health and just how that is just so, such a powerful tool um, to harness in terms of our well-being. It really does affect so much. We all know about the gut mind link. Um, and over the weekend, I came across a study which just really um, further emphasises just the importance of that link, the gut mind link. Um, so basically, a study was done, I'm not actually sure which country it was, um, whether it was the UK or America, um, and it looked at um, people who were kind of saying that they were lonely. Um, and it saw a real correlation with um, the more lonely someone felt, um, the less diverse their gut microbiome. So obviously, you know, we have trillions of these microorganisms in our guts, which play an important role in our well-being. And they found that, as I said, the more lonely someone felt, the less diverse um, their gut microbiome was shown to, to be. Um, so having a low diversity in your gut microbiome has been shown to mean that you don't have an, as an effective um, gut microbiome. So the ideal situation is for a really diverse, really rich gut microbiome. And they found that the less um, lonely someone was, the more diverse their gut microbiome was. So there was just this inversely um, correlated link loneliness and gut microbiome and um, so yeah like I'm always talking about just how important the gut microbiome is for our well-being and our health um, and I you know I know that um, it definitely plays a part in kind of how well we're feeling ourselves but I was really surprised to see that it goes even to the detail of just how you perceive loneliness um, and um, yeah how empowering it is that you know, I'm not saying that, you know, it's a it's a quick um, switch. You can just, like, sort your microbiome and you're not going to feel lonely. But um, isn't it so empowering that actually, you know, there are many things that we can do for loneliness. You know, obviously it's quite a complex illness. I'm not saying that it's just a quick fix. But one of the things and one of the reasons why, another reason for many, many reasons, why we should take note of our gut health and um, you know be invested in increasing our gut microbiome is that it really does play such an important part in our well-being 
um, and hopefully will help to reduce our sense of feeling lonely and increase our resilience. Um, so yeah, I just found that such an, you know, such an encouraging study because it just really reiterates, um, you know, all the other studies and the research that um, is going on in terms of gut microbiome and how it's so important for our mental well-being. So I just thought I'd share that today. So what what are you doing um, towards your gut microbiome? Do you kind of think about it every day as you're putting food? You know, you can't survive without eating, you can't survive well, not for long, um, and you can't survive without drinking regularly. Do you kind of also have the same mindset about, you know, I can't survive without looking after my gut microbiome? It's an unseen um you know, we don't see our gut in the same way as we see our mouth, obviously that is part of our gut. Um, but are you thinking about and investing regularly, daily into your gut microbiome and are you kind of proactive about um, increasing your gut microbiome and diversity? Because if, if you do, um, definitely has such um, profound and like a multitude of benefits including your well-being including your resilience so yeah i thought i'd just quickly share that with you because yeah that study was quite surprising for me but not surprising in another way and um yeah just encouraging just to show that yeah there is lots of research about this and just need to get people to know about it more and that um you know that is one simple tip that you can do um towards your well-being so I'll leave it there. Hope you have a great day and I'll catch you soon. Bye.